Hello, this is Tolfman Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you all the way that you can have swarms of bees or flies or birds simulated inside Blender using this add-on. And it's called the Spotify add-on. They're the same guys that created, or same person, I don't know if it's one person or two guys or several guys, but the same people that created the weather effects add-on. And it works pretty good. I'm going to leave a link of it. Uh, below this video so you can download it yourself and try it out. Uh, the same process for installation and once you've downloaded it onto your computer. I go to edit and I'm using Blender 2.92. There's a newer version that they've created and that's for Blender 3.0 and above. And this had it's got some new uh, models in it like bats, but this is like the original uh, add-on. And to install it, go to Edit and click on Preferences. And install, navigate to where you've installed it or downloaded it onto your system. Click on Install Add on. And then let's type in, it's called Spider. What's it called? Yeah. Yeah, Spiderfly or Spiderfy. And then click, put a chicken in that box and then activates it. And the first thing we can do is just get rid of this cube by having the cube selected and pressing delete and it's right here and this is the first iteration of it like i said before there's just another one that has more options more models in it but this is good enough and it's pretty direct it's got uh locusts butterflies flies dragonflies insects and uh birds actually sparrows crows seagulls uh and all kinds of other insects and animals in it you can uh, determine the amount here at a goal. So if, you, if you've got uh, flying creatures in there, you can have a goal for the birds or insects to fly to or fly around. And it's got collision ob objects in here for plane, cube, and cylinder. Uh, you can add your own collision uh, objects in there, like cube or a sphere or a cylinder or trees or whatever you want or a person and just activate, cause them to become a collision object by clicking on this option right there. But we're gonna test out some of these elements here to see how well it works. And the one I'm gonna test out first is the seagulls. I'm gonna left click on that. Now I've been told that you, can, you have to put uh, a name because once you activate the uh, bug system, I add the bug system, it's going to create a collection here. And your collection needs to have a name. Sometimes I've put a name in there, sometimes I haven't, it still works fine, but just for the sake of just following the instructions of the um, make of the add-on, let's put a name in here. Call this C, S, E, A, enter. And we're going to keep the amount as it is, add goal, and then we're going to click on add bug system. And it's going to bring in these birds here, of this bird, which is a system uh, model. And the thing about this model is that it actually looks really good in Cycles and in Eevee. Uh, but let's go to Eevee first. Let's stay in Eevee because it's better that way, more efficient, a little bit faster. Brighten up the scene a little bit. And we're going to change our viewport render, see what it looks like. You can see it's got uh, the textures already applied to it. And it looks really, really nice. Now we're going to cause this to be animated to see how well it looks like when it's animated but a couple things you have to keep in mind with this before you press play move your goal which is this empty to where you want the birds to fly to if you don't if you press play without doing that uh, the birds won't go to the empty which is the goal so i'm going to move this over move it up and then press play and all the birds fly to this empty. And I think the movement is baked after you press play, because even after you've moved the empty, if you try to move the empty again to somewhere else, let's move it down. Press play. The birds aren't going to go to it because uh, that movement was first uh, baked to this area. So that, keep that in mind before you move or press play, move your empty to where you want the birds or the insects to go to. That's the first thing. Now we're going to open up a new scene again, and that's the safest way to do this that I've seen. 
So we don't have any interruptions or issues with uh, the software acting up. And we're going to test, test the collision aspects of it. I'm going to go to File again. New General Don't Save. Let's navigate to where Spiderfy is. There it is. And we're going to delete this cube again. We're going to pick crows this time. And we're going to name it Crow. C R O W. Enter. And we're going to keep the amount as this 200. And instead of adding the gold this time, I'm going to add a. Uh, let me see. We're going to add a. Well, let's add a goal to goal and add a cube and we're gonna this cube is gonna automatically become an, a collision object and we're going to select our empty press Z oh, we don't have to do it just yet let's add the bug system first and then I'll add the empty for us and those that's our bird and Z let's see if we can find our empty there it is click on that and we're gonna move our empty this this way again move it up to the left and up Click on our cube. Do all the all the movement that you need to do. Do it before you press play. And you're going to see what's going to happen when the birds try to fly, fly to this empty. They're going to go into the cube. They're going to hit the cube first and go around the cube. Let's zoom in on the cube and press play and see what happens. And you can see some of the birds. Yeah, that one just hit the uh, cube and it went around it. And you have to keep in mind that when it comes to uh, the number of uh, elements, insects or birds, whatever it is, even crawling insects, if you increase the number of uh, instances of the model, you have a uh, collision object in the scene. What has happened to me is that they get stuck inside of the collision object especially if it's a cube, they'll get stuck in it. So keep that in mind, keep your your, your uh, bug amount to around 200, 250, and that works fine. If you go to like four or 500, they'll start colliding, hitting the collision object, and they'll just stick there. So keep that in mind. And so yeah, that's our uh, Blender quick tip for today, how to make or create swarms of birds and insects using the Spotify add-on. And uh, hopefully hopefully this will be uh, helpful. It's helpful for those of you who are watching. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are, are subscribing now and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.